Hey everyone, Shane, the building biologist. Let's talk for a minute about new construction and uh, making it low EMF. Got a call from this client who had recently become aware of the concern with EMF and health impacts, uh, but they were midway through their build. So they were curious if they could still do things to incorporate and shield from excessive EMF, and they definitely can. So I don't want anyone to think that just because you have finished floors on and sheetrock up uh, that you can't do anything to lessen the EMF exposure in your house. So in this case, this happens to be the master bedroom. It's a great area to focus in on. Getting your sleep as clean as possible is super important. And in this room, what we're gonna do is create a Faraday cage and we're actually going to paint all of the walls in RF shielding paint. And then we're gonna apply RF shielding film to the window bays over there, as well as these over here. And so those are gonna block cell towers, radio antennas, even Wi-Fi in other areas of the house. And they're also gonna block if we ground them to the electrical system, AC electric fields. So as long as there are no wiring errors left in this room after the electrical is finished going in, you can see it's still in a rough state. Um, this room will be extremely clean from EMF. So I'll put a link to some of the products I like to use for this type of shielding in the description below. And if you have any questions about shielding in general or how to incorporate low EMF practices into your construction project or renovation, send me a message.